everyone i hope you're doing well it's me married here and i'm back again i am in my dressing gown it's cold in my house um i'm cold in london but for today's video i am doing a recommendation video which is like <laughs> i haven't done one in a while um so i am very excited this recommendation video if you can tell from the title and the thumbnail and whatever it's a doctor slash hospital slash like nurse also um romance book video recommendation video it's all of those things um that is the things that i'm recommending i've wanted to do this for a little while but i just haven't been organized enough really to do it i'll just get into it and the first book that i think there's six books here yeah the first book that i want to recommend is a Eruption by Riley McKenzie. So I first read this book a fair few years ago. Um, but it's always stuck with me, this book, because... Well, I won't say because. It's always stuck with me, this book. Um, I'll tell you the sort of premise of the book. So um, it follows a man called Guy and he is a doctor. And he has sort of suffered a loss. And he's looking after his two children. Um, and he's a single parent and one of them has special needs slash like a lot of illnesses um, and so his son is always in hospital a lot so um, that's sort of like premise and he meets his son's paediatric nurse Jules and she's from like a big Italian family she's quite loving um, but the reason why I remember loving this book so so much I remember I found it so so amazing but it was because there was a really big twist in there that I really didn't expect and it's nothing to do with like them two not really it's something I don't want to I don't want to explain too much because I spoil but it's honestly such an amazing book and that twist was really like oh my god I did not see that coming um at least I'm pretty sure the twist is in this book I'm about 85% sure the twist is in this book um yeah, I'm about 85% sure this is in this book. I'll be really upset, actually, if somebody comments goes, I read it and there was no twist, and I'll be like, oh, God. Um, but I'm about 85% sure the twist is in this book, unless I've got my books confused. But I'm about 85% sure it's this book. There's an amazing twist. I just love this book. It's really soft. It's really sweet. Um, I would say it's a love story, but it's also fairly, like, there's other things happening, you know, because obviously his son is sick. Um, so there's a lot of stuff like that. I would thoroughly recommend this book, but I read it back in 2016, so really enjoyed it then. I remember loving it. I think it was 2016 or 17. Um, I remember really loving it, and I felt like I wanted to include it because I loved it so much at the time. Why wouldn't I include it now? Um, and the next book that I wanted to recommend, this comes as no surprise if you follow me for like a few weeks, um, is A Deal with the Devil by Elizabeth O'Rourke. And this was one of my favourite books of 2021. So, and this was also a hospital no such like it was more doctor romance but this one was amazing absolutely amazing um it follows tally and she is an author but she's like down on her luck she's sort of struggling through life she doesn't really know she needs money and her best friend is the assistant to a man called hayes and he is a famous plastic sh surgeon in la and his her best friend basically says can you be his assistant for how many months because I'm going away somewhere so she becomes his assistant it's a workplace it's a slight enemies to lovers it's really really witty it's so amazing the banter between the two is just so great um I just adore it so much and yeah it's slightly slow burn I wouldn't say it's too steamy or too like anything much but I think the best thing about the book is how like witty it is and there's a scene of like hair giving in there too which I really really liked. The only thing right is the fact that his name is Hayes but he's meant to be British. <sighs> no that's not that would that would never happen here. I've never once ever in my life met Hayes in all my time in in London <laughs> or anywhere else in the UK. Um so yeah that isn't that was the only unbelievable thing I think about the book. Um, and the next book that I want to recommend is also, sorry, I forgot to mention, there's a second book coming out, I think, in the next few days with In the Same World as A Deal with the Devil, but it's also doctor related, but I haven't read it, so I can't recommend it, but I know that that is coming out and I will very, very much so read it. Um, it's coming out in the next few days, 
but that is also doctor related if anyone's interested but it's they're standalones but they're just in the same world and the next book that i wanted to recommend was dr scandalous by jason man and i've made a whole video actually recommending jason man before so if any of you want to check out that video i'll leave it in the bio or the description whatever you want to call it i'll leave it in the description if you want to check out she writes pretty much just mainly contemporary romances um and i really enjoy enjoy all of them i think they're quite light and easy and if like you have a in like a book slumpy mood you can easily just pick one of those books up and they're just really light and easy and nothing too much um and this one is pretty much the same it's called dr scandalous by J it's by jason Mann. and it's the first book in a series that's all to do with doctors the second book has come out i will read it at some point but i can't i'm gonna be completely honest i can't remember the series name right now um but it is part of a series I might include it in my because I'll leave a link obviously for all these down below um when I do the link I might just put in brackets a series name too so you don't have to worry um I'll tell you what this one is about it follows Amelia and she is a nurse and she goes to her high school reunion and she considers not going um and she gets there and there's a woman that starts to be mean to her and a man called Oliver sort of interrupts and it's like defends her basically and he is a like billionaire doctor him and his family are really wealthy and Amelia is a nurse too by the way I forgot to mention that and he basically goes in to the reunion being like can we pretend that we're dating so that we're like yeah can we pretend we're dating so that my ex thinks that I'm doing like better in life uh said so it becomes this whole thing that they're like engaged and da 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 um and they sort of keep the fake dating bit up because his mum isn't very well uh so they sort of keep that whole charade up and then what lo and behold they've fallen in love oh who would have known who would have thought not me um it's a fake dating um it's a rich man and a not so rich woman she's also like a caregiver for her sister her younger sister so there's like mentions of teenagers too in there my other point as well with this author um, slash book was that um jay smart also writes a lot of doctor slash nurse slash hospital romances um i'm wondering if i'll leave a link to all of them down below or just leave a link to the video but either way if you are looking for an author that does a lot of like hospital or doctor romances i would definitely recommend jace man um and if you're ever confused i think just go onto her goodreads page and you'll see like in the descriptions which ones are nurses and everything uh but either way i really enjoy a lot of jace man's books as i mentioned repeatedly but um i'm just more specifically recommending this one because this was the newest release um or the newest release i've read of hers as of yet whatever um and the next book and this one is a fairly popular book so i wondered whether to even include it but i felt like when i read it at the time i really loved it so i felt like i should include it um so it's wrong by jana aston jana aston i hope i'm saying that right um and yeah at the time i read it i think i read it in 2017 or 2018 maybe even 2016 um i remember loving it i remember finding it so funny um and this one follows a uni student called Sophie and she is also working at a coffee shop and she always sees a handsome stranger come into the coffee shop and then one day she goes to the like student campus doctor gynecology thing and he's her gynecologist um and it sort of ensues on from there it's slightly taboo because he's older she's younger um you know he's in a position of power etc etc um it isn't very long it's fairly light-hearted and i remember it being slightly smutty too when i read it by the way dr scandalous wasn't super smutty either i don't i don't have much memory memory of it being like a smut fest so fair enough um but either way, i do remember wrong being really really funny to me at a time when i was how old was I in 2016? Uh, I was in my first year of uni, so 18. <laughs> oh, God. 
And the next book, again, is fairly popular, but I really felt like I wanted to recommend it because I read it recently and I really, really liked it too. Um, this one is Medicine Man by Saffron A. Kent. And I wanted to recommend this one more because it's a different kind of doctor as well. Um, so this one, it follows Willow and she is in a like mental health psychiatric hospital um venue event no hospital <laughs> and she basically um meets a man called simon blackwood and he is the psychiatrist um at the hospital and she becomes quite obsessed i would say obsessed yeah she becomes really really interested in him and um she obviously is there for a reason she did try to kill herself that is the reason um there are a lot of triggers in this because obviously it's you know talks a lot about mental health um and also it's taboo like he's he is in a position of power obviously it's age gap too because he's older she's only 18 18 19 and um you know it's forbidden because obviously he's the He's a psychiatrist at the hospital, so obviously he should not be doing that. Um, yeah, it's Taboo, Age Gap, Forbidden Love. And then there is also the occasional funny one line in there. I did find one or two things quite funny in that book. Um, I don't know if I was meant to find them funny, but I did find them funny. Uh, but either way, I thought it was like a... I thought it was a really good book, actually. I don't know if I'll read the rest of the series. don't know if I'm too interested because it's the first book in the series. I don't know if I'm too interested in reading the rest, I'll be honest. I like their story, but I don't know if I'm interested in reading everybody else's story. Um, this was on the longer side too, just to let you all know. Um, I think it was like 400 or 500 pages. Um, so it's on the longer side, but if you're looking for that sort of a doctor book, I'd recommend that one. Uh, but equally check out the triggers because it mentions so much about mental health. Um, and my final book that I want to recommend and talk about, that is six books, isn't it? One, two, yeah, so I've mentioned six books, plus also just check out Jason Mann in general, because a lot of her books are um, doctor, hospital, nurse books. Um, so the final book that I want to recommend, and again, I've included this one because it's a bit different. Um, it's a different sort of theme, is Snow by Sophie Lark. Now, this is the second book in a series. You don't have to read the first book to understand this book. Um, I think it's the Underworld or the Underground series. This is the second book in. You definitely don't have to read the first book to understand this book. This book, I think, was actually my favourite book out of the whole series in general. Um, and, yeah, I I really, really liked it. I love the banter and, like, the temperament of the characters. I thought it was so good. It was called... Have I mentioned what it's called? It's called Snow by Sophie Lark. I wasn't sure if I mentioned there. But, anyway, it follows a woman called Sasha and she is set in Russia and she is basically a doctor but her father has fallen on hard times and is struggling money wise and <clears throat> she says as a way of like eradicating the debt and everything she will work for the Bratva so like the Russian mafia she'll work for um them as a doctor basically to repay his debt essentially and this is where she meets Snow and Snow is a boxer and he doesn't really, he slightly works with Brat for it's sort of like a weird situation but he's trying to like escape the claws and like the tendrils of them. So um, the whole sort of premise of them is trying to be able to escape the Brat for pretty much. I love this book it's my favorite book in the series um again it's a different kind of doctor because obviously she's like doing it in more like underground illegal way uh but i really really liked it and that's why i felt like i should include it again it's the second book in the series definitely don't have to read the first you don't lose out by not reading the first um and also it's like a mafia sort of book and you know how much i love mafia books although i haven't read any recently and i'm really sad about it um nothing's been really doing much for me mafia wise at the minute i think it's just a phase and i'll go back to liking them soon enough so um um it's also a virgin romance too if anyone's interested she's a virgin and so is um medicine man by saffron a kent also medicine man is fairly smutty i don't remember if snow is smutty i'm gonna be equal but medicine man definitely is um yeah 
that was all my recommendations i hope that's okay i didn't want this to be like a super long video um but there are six books there and jason man in general um i hope you're all doing well as it goes i really hope you are and i hope you enjoy this video i don't know what my next video is going to be because i haven't read a single book well i've read one book sorry rather i've lied i've read one book and i've had one dnf in january and it's partly because i'm in a bit of a slump and partly because i've been so busy trying to sort out my book um so that's why i'm in this situation i'm hoping there'll be a wrap up there might only be a few books on the january wrap up so i think i won't finish my goodreads reading challenge this year either which is really upsetting but either way that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching um, if you could like, if you could subscribe, if you could comment any doctor or hospital or nurse romance books that you want to recommend that I haven't mentioned, I would love to know. I'm always on the lookout for these sort of books because I do actually quite like them. As a little shameless self-plug, my book is coming out on the 25th of January. Um, the pre-order and add to your TBR links will be in the bio as per usual. And that is pretty much it from me today. So thank you so much. And we shall talk soon. Say goodbye. <laughs>